Welcome back everybody to the channel. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe actually. Back. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually going on a cruise guys. Mum's actually back. Who would have guessed? Jesus. I haven't right. been on a cruise for weeks. No. Uh -huh. So it'd be I quite nice. I can't remember the last time you had a cruise. No. But so I hope you're not getting fed up with the boys all the time. The boys. <laughs> um, yeah I just spent um Yeah because you did five. come back didn't you? Oh, yeah, I came Saturday. back. I came back last Friday. Back. I came back on the Friday evening after having George, didn't I? Hmm. And then to go again. I was there here Saturday, Sunday, and then I went to see my mum and dad Monday to Saturday. Yeah, just gone. So it was nice to nice to catch up with them. And it's going to be their anniversary on the eighth of August. So we're going to take them out yeah. on a little cruise. That'll be fun. And that's sixty-three years. Yeah, because they haven't seen the boat yet, have they? No, they haven't seen the boat no. yet. Only on Dad. Dad always watches the channel. Mm. So, hi, Dad. <laughs> but yeah, they've been together 68 years. Yeah, so years. A, long, a long time. I think they're about sick of each other now. Yeah, but they, <laughs> they bicker like anything, but they do yeah. love each other. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna. I'm going to go and pick them up, aren't I? Mm. On the 8th. Come on, on a lovely cruise. And it's going to cook a nice meal for them in the evening. And then I'll take them back and spend a couple of days with them and then come back, yeah. So it's been, yeah, it's been nice. Yeah, mm. it's been, we, uh, well, some holidays now. Uh, me and Dad really haven't done much. We've just been on the boat, doing jobs. It's been a bit like Groundhog Day. <laughs> kind of a bit stir crazy now. They go, they say, what time are you getting back? What time are you getting back? We're getting a bit stir crazy, yeah. you want to go? But it's also, um, also went to my Auntie Jones, it was my dad's sister's... Oh, was it a nice party? Oh yeah, it was my dad's sister's 90th birthday. Mm, so I'm going to put some photographs on Facebook. But yeah, we had a lovely time. Met a couple of my cousins. The other two cousins I didn't see. Was oh, there cake? Just... And... Yeah, you got a bit of cake. Yeah, there. No, it was of course. The oh yes, she had some comment. Oh. Mike, we've got to say hello to Mike. Hi Mike. <laughs> Mike, it's funny because we yeah, put the um, yeah we really put the cotton vlog out, didn't we? Yeah. And um, Mike said, "Oh, I'm the one that's um, MOT'd your car. You're my sig signatures on your MOT certificate." It's like the <laughs> our, our ex dust but dustbin man. Yeah, us. yeah. What the hell? So St John's, I uh, recommend St John's Garage. Yeah, they really were brilliant good. in Worcester. So hi to Mike. Yeah, hi. And hi to Robert as well because I always deal with Robert there, so they've been fantastic. So if you're in that area, brilliant garage. Oh, it's been a boat moored on the Lockland uh, swing bridge landing for about a week. A small well, it wasn't boat, there when I was. But came. it's obstructing the landing, and you're not allowed to moor on <coughs> swing bridge landings. And He's been uh, there doing a bit of work on his boat, yeah, but I don't know why there. Boats though. can't, they can't land. No. They have to literally land on his boat. You never know. When we we go, we might come over here. And we're way too long to go on there. So I've got to go. Yeah. I've got got the keys. Hmm. I've got to go up and Don't do be that. too hasty, let us get over first and then yeah. when we're ready to come up then do it, so okay? hold up any traffic. Otherwise I'll hold up everyone yeah, when they also, get there. <laughs> I saw a new bridge and I thought, why is that bridge new? What reason could that be new? And I didn't really you question it. You looked into it. it, didn't you? No, I didn't. I, it was no. when I went to look for somewhere to walk. So I went on a walk as well, recently. Um, but I found out that that's actually a site of a crash. The new, the Ufton New Nuvet crash in 2004 train crash it was. when someone selfishly killed themselves on the uh, level crossing which was there and caused the crash didn't yes it? yeah they killed themselves and killed loads of other people in the process which is just not the right way to do it <laughs> is it I mean, well it's not the right thing to do in the first place is no. it? get help but um, that's what they did they yeah. it was a level crossing they partitioned didn't they the railway company didn't put in a new bridge it wasn't until the victims the family's victims um, petitioned for a bridge to be built. So victims they, of the family? Yeah. yeah. So they uh, oh. built that bridge. Instead of a level crossing mm. like this. Well, this is the one this is to do with the canal, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'd better go over and... Also, we yeah, we did go on a dinghy trip, didn't we? Oh, oh yes, oh, yeah. God, it's too much. Yeah, we went a bit on a dinghy yeah, trip. I went on that on the that Sunday. That was the last vlog, I think. Yeah. Yeah, went um, on a dinghy trip. That was good, wasn't it? Hmm. Down the River Kennet. But today we're going to so. go... To Wolverhampton, not Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton. Yeah, and and I do apo I do apologise to all my Facebook um, viewers. I'm saying, oh yeah, we're going to be on the River Wale. Might look out for us <sighs> and the Basingstoke Canal, but 
that's out because the Basingstoke Canal's closed. Yeah, they're having problems everywhere of water. with water. Even here it's been dropping, you're getting weed coming We're up. We're lucky to be down in the south because I think a lot of the north ones are yep. closed as well. So Alright, let's get going then yep, because it's get getting going. long. <laughs> So if you remember in our dinghy video, we went up that strange channel that goes off here. And that, funny enough, was actually the old canal. Because this lock here, Afton Lock that we're going through where the swing bridge is, is obviously no longer a lock. This was built in 1834, which was the last lock to be built on this canal. And the reason this was built was to avoid the meandering river and uh, they made a cutting through here so they had to put in a little lock and it was only one foot nine inches but this was obviously made to try and shorten the route to stop the coming of the railways. And in the 1960s when they came to restore this section they thought the shallow lock here would be unpractical to restore. So they actually made Towney Lock, which we're going to come to next, a bit deeper. As you can see, this is Towney Lock, which was deepened by one foot nine inches. And there's a very strange channel that comes up to it, as you'll notice, and the lock landing is way back from the lock. As you can tell from the footage, these are highly violent locks and I wouldn't want to have the bow right where all that water's coming down at the moment because the boat would be flooded. So somehow dad ended up in the tree here, which has fallen down and he couldn't go forward and he couldn't really go back. So mum had to get off and put us along. We noticed a very weird smell here. It smelled like, it smelled like a barbecue. It smelled like burning. Then we look into the field and we see burnt grass and it was unbelievable because it looked like it just recently happened like I walked down here two days ago and this was not here now obviously because of the incredibly dry spell we've been having in the UK recently um, I just assumed this was another wildfire but wait till you hear the story behind this Luckily we can get a lot of information off this guy who moors here who can tell us exactly what happened and we'll tell you in a minute.
talking about? When we me and Dad were cooking, uh, cooking. he was cooking, I was cooking. Uh, <laughs> when we were making the video for the quiche array, um, video, I looked out the window and I saw this great big cloud of smoke. I'm like, Dad, look at that. He says, that's a forum. And then I flew the drone. I could get, only get about a mile to it because the drone, the controller's not really good. Go what a normal mile. fire though, because it was all really mm. dark black plasticky smoke, wasn't it? Yeah, but I couldn't find anything about it on the news. So I just chalked it down to being oh, a bonfire. But then <laughs> Mum just come back and told me that she was watching the news with Grandad. Yeah, it's been on about the last two or three days. Yeah. How many of days was it? Two days ago? Yeah. The last two days it's been on. There's a massive fire Calcott in Reading. House, yeah. is on, house is on fire and they've arrested the 17 year old lad for arson. Mm. So luckily, luckily nobody was hurt, but there was, it said um, on the news, I was speaking to one of the neighbours on there, they did go back to get their pets. So the fireman said that they went back sillily to go and get their pets, but luckily got the pets and they were all right. But that's what the fireman said well, that was there. Yeah, on the topic of fires though. <laughs> um, yeah, that chimney is bad. <laughs> We've just come, we just came out of, um, Towney Lock, and this whole field is burnt. Yeah, I was walking I along, along I was, here two days ago, yeah. and it was not burnt at all. And I was walking along, and and I said to Josh, "Paul, oh, can you smell that? It's really burnt." And the whole like a lot of the field was burnt. Mm. And we just found out it's just happened. Yeah, talking to a guy who lives on a boat, <laughs> and it's literally just happened. The, the idiots in that house there <laughs> have tried to burn their wood. Yeah. yeah. With, in a dry field, all these, all the, um, the grass is dry, no moisture in the grass at all, so it's just going to go up like... So the wind blew one there. way, then it blew the other way, and the guy on the boat said, said they only rang the fire brigade when the, when the fire started going towards their house. That's when they rang the fire brigade. <laughs> so it doesn't matter about, you know, the rest of yeah. the field, or going on the right railway track. So luckily it's put out because that would have been another fire. Yeah, the railway's just there. Yeah. Railway track. Wow. Yeah, well, I've, I've been watching, when I met Grandad's, I watch the news quite a lot, and it, there's been a lot of them dry, wet, so dry. Any well, little thing lock. catching. Oh, another lock now, guys. Yeah, I came through Towny Lock. We had a bit of a nightmare because the gate wouldn't shut for some reason. <laughs> I think there might have been something stuck it in. It was ages. And then, um, and then we came out and the boat got pushed into a tree at the front so we couldn't get around so we had to go off, mum had to go off, pull the boat around. That's why I was walking because I couldn't yeah. get back on the boat. I'm in dad gets stressed. blows on it, that's anything I don't like about it. He gets very, very stressed. stressed. This lock line is right in there, it's really short so dad's got to go push the boat all the way out. Oh dear, well it is on our side but I'll have to drop you off and then go on in. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Passing the ABC Hire Base here, and it's around two o'clock on a Saturday, so they will be coming out imminently. This guy here with the blue shirt on and the dog was walking along the swing bridge as we were pressing the button and the barrier almost very nearly hit him on the head.
So there's a very, very awkward water point as you come through the left bridge on the right hand side and luckily someone's just filled up on water and they're getting ready to go. So I'm hoping this will be nice and quick so we can get going before the holiday boats come. No, wharf. Wharf, it? wharf. Yeah. Back there's a wharf, isn't it? Yeah. Back there's a wharf where all the hire boats come out. But the trouble is now, I think we're going to catch all the hire boats because yeah. this hose here, it just dribbles. The, it takes the biscuit for the, uh, yeah. the slowest hose ever. Really yeah, I think is, we're going to be here a couple of hours yeah. filling up with water. But that, that went fine, apart from nearly chopping someone's head yeah. off. <laughs> There was a man, a lady, and a dog there, and the barriers, the we're barriers about to come were down. coming down. It was beeping, and it was beep, 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 beep. And he, it nearly came down his head. And yeah, he like almost came down his head. <laughs> and if Mum didn't warn him, yeah, he would have been a hit if yeah. I didn't say so. I said, "Watch it." Oh, some people are so impatient. But he was nice. Guy. Oh yeah, the lovely, lovely couple. And then they said, "Oh, what's it like for walking down there?" I said, "I don't know. This is the first time we've yeah. done it." So they, we don't miss out. But, uh, yeah, we caused a bit of a traffic jam. Traffic jam? Yeah, it takes a lot. Because it stops this side, and then it stops the other side, and then this side has to go, all the traffic has to go through before the other side can come. Mm. So it's not a two-way right. traffic on the, on the bridge. There's some fishing ones sat here for a couple of hours, waiting for the next well. Yeah, just, Annie might put his rod out here. Oh, there's a boat. The lot of fishing rod, not that. I don't, they want to get it takes a there. long time to go through these locks as well. Yeah. They're so. They're wide. Well, they're wide and they're. They're very bad. They're very. They're very fierce and they smash your boat to bits. Yeah. And there's oh, bits they... of metal sticking out and stone. Looks like they've got. I don't know if you can see behind us, but they've got to wait even longer because that's two boats going through. Mm. So. And if um, if we were going further than we were today and we're going past another walk point and even get water here, we'd go. Yeah. Because this we're is not. really bad. Yeah. They've restricted it for some reason, probably because of all the yeah. water and that. I got a chance for a cup of tea though. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's the only bonus. Yeah. Bon Gonna go in and make a cup of tea while we're waiting and then hopefully we'll finish the drink. Oh my golly, by the gods, Jesus Christ on a pogo stick, am I a psychic medium or something? Because I said to mum, as soon as we fill up on water and we begin to leave, I'm telling you, the hire boats are going to be coming through that lift bridge. And what happens? <laughs> uh, I'm, the only thing that annoys me is that I predicted it. That's all. I don't mind that they're taking the lock because they're on holiday. We live on the boat, so we've got all the time in the world. Quite cleverly, the CRT actually puts um, a couple of volunteers on this lock and the next lock so they can teach the holidaymakers what to do when they come out of the marina. stressful situation. <laughs> this is what I said to mum when we got there at two o'clock. When we're gonna go mum, the hire boats are gonna come through that lift bridge and they're gonna steal the lock. What happened? Yeah that happened. Um, <laughs> yeah it took an hour and 20 two, minutes didn't it? Yeah hour and 20 minutes to fill up more water. Probably the longest we've <laughs> ever done. So yeah. Oh that's nightmare. the ones that nearly got their head chopped off yeah. just here. <laughs> they're just walking past. Some, someone went uh, when we were dropping the... <laughs> yeah. You're don't do it again! <laughs> <laughs> You've had a lovely walk! Oh good, see you later! It's an eventful anyway. <laughs> that guy Mum was just talking to uh, when we were lifting the lift bridge. Uh, we nearly got his head... The alarms are going off, but then the barriers just almost hit him on the head. Yeah. Mum said, watch it! <laughs> I think if I hadn't said anything, it would have happened. Yeah, but that was lucky. Um, it's been a bit hectic. That's a weird lock though, that one. Yeah. It, it, it like goes semicircle, semicircle, semicircle. Not semi the only one yeah, There weird. is another one down there. I think yeah. like the only thing I can think of, I said to the guy, is because it's 
Oh no, you, you tell them don't. Sorry. No. Because no, it's I'm concave, just... like a semi-arch, it makes the walls very strong. If you have one flat wall, it can it's, it's prone to collapsing. Yeah, and that's but really... really knows. They've not really got an answer for it. Well, no. I asked the other guy I was talking to, and he said, and, and about opening, he said, it's your boat, he said, you open it where you want to open it. All right. So he said it was best to open the whole gate, because Andy, Andy was over one side, open the whole gate one side, and then once you're halfway up, open the other gate, and then it slides, the water slides down that yeah, side you when you're on your own. Yeah. We did come out a bit. So that's why I, that's why you saw me shutting it. He said, "Shut it because you're going out, and then open it, reopen it again." So that was because they're so fast, they're really fast. But I asked him about. I said, "What's all this about? All the bendy like lock?" He said, "Well, we don't really know." He said, "But we have been told that there's so there's a lot of soil behind the walls. So they do that. So it's like a little bit like what Andy yeah, just it was said. Yeah, a turf lock, wasn't it? So it makes it stronger. Well, that's what." So, well, that's oh, what yes, he said about mm. there was a turf lock. These back. must have been the turf locks, yeah. Yeah, there's only oh, two you left. Must, you must have done the other turf yes. lock because I didn't there's do it. There's monkey marsh coming up there. Monkey marsh. Not today, I don't think. But yeah, because he said you've been through the. And I said I just agree with him because I haven't done it, but that's that's a turf lock. Yeah. And he said the other reason, he said they think they do it because of how fast the water goes in. That slows the water down a bit. Um. Instead of being straight and the water hmm. goes gushing in when it's concave or whatever like that it yeah it slows it down mm. that's what he reckons it slows also, the water down. also you may not know this but the k and a the complete k and a when they reached uh, bristol that was 1810 but this part it's this old. is older this yeah. is 17 must be 17 is there, is 23 birthday next hey, year what yeah next it's 300 year, years old next year years old Blimey, that'd be 1723 then yeah. Because this, this part was built from the River Thames to Newbury um, in 1723. Blimey, that's yeah. very old, That's where it? it becomes mm. a canal at Newbury. So that's this, this part of it. It's one of the oldest then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is just a canalised river. And that lock you were talking about there is the longest and biggest, well, longest and widest lock yeah. on, on this canal. And it holds, what did it say it holds? I don't know, what there? Half <laughs> million tons. Uh, one million gallons? Well, no, it's litres. litres. Yeah. He said it's very... um. Half a million litres of water or something. It's very big lock. Very big lock. No, I've got it. 60 million litres of water or something. Something like that. No, that's too much. That's no, I don't know. You have to <laughs> ask him now. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, now we've got to go back, guys, and ask him now. But maybe when we go back that way. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, we came, we came out hard to finish in water. And, and uh, yeah, two holiday boats came. Actually... Give them their due. The first one, I just waved and that, well, they were just winning because they were coming through the bridge. But the second one said, you want to go in? And I said, no, that's fine, you go on. Because it was taking a bit of time manoeuvring and everything, wasn't it? This is why I wanted mum to get back early, so we could avoid them coming out, but uh, well, we didn't. Yeah, oh, we tried our best. <laughs> you see the cool dog then? Mm -hmm. Hiya. Say hello. But yeah, we've got three more locks now. And, uh, yeah. So I'll we'll see you there. There's a dog.
but we caught up to the hire boaters and they were both waiting on the swing bridge landing. So I said, oh, can we just go through, but we're not going to steal your lock, so we can actually use the lock landing without having to get off and swing the bridge again, because that would just be pointless. So they agreed to that. This place is notorious um, for the current that comes out below the lock here, and in the winter it's especially bad. Um, as you can see from how many times people smack the arm go there. does make you get slightly frustrated when you come up here and both the gates are open and one of the paddles was up. I had to drop the paddle before I filmed this because I need to drop it as quick as I could. So guys, I've made an outro, but I decided not to include it because I wasn't really happy. I was quite hungry and tired um, because it turned a five mile cruise into a five hour cruise. So we're essentially going one mile an hour because we got stuck behind the holiday makers and at the last vlog it kind of really pissed me off that I just left the gates open and one of the paddles up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more videos and also click that bell button to be notified when we upload and maybe uh, support us. There's links in the description for supporting us in all kinds of ways.